Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. So few days back, OnePlus had released their first table, Oxonos 14 EX01 14 build, who had already created the manual installation and review video of that update. If you didn't watch it, then its link is given under the video description. There we discussed the complete details of that new update. But yesterday, OnePlus again made available the new Oxynos 14 EX01 14 Nord 2.2 update for OnePlus 9RT via OT update. Today, we will thoroughly check out the chain log of this new update along with the performance testing. We will also show you the manual installation if you didn't got this update until now. So, watch this video till the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure This is my OnePlus 9RT and I am using the old auction OS 14 EX01 14 not 211 build from last one month. But today via OT updater I got the notification of this new auction OS 14 EX01 14 not 212 which is of 764MB in the size with the minor change log. If you still didn't got this OTA then you can use the local install option available under the three dot menu in the OTA section and flash this full OTA file of new update as shown in the old video. I already got the new OTA via system updater. I started to download it. Once extraction process was completed, just tap install new OTA. So installation of new OTA has been completed and phone started to boot into the new update. Now let's check out the OTA change log one by one. OTA updater now showing we are upgraded to the new auction S14 EX01 14 not 2 and 2. Android version section showing this is the same Android 14 with the Google's new upside down cake easter egg. Major part of change log is the security patch. It is updated to the latest 5th January 2024. Version section showing the same build number that we checked previously, except that kernel is same like old build. Now next head over to the another part of the change log. First is the auction OS team has removed the background streaming of media from the smart sidebar. This smart sidebar feature is available under the special feature section of the setting. And now the background streaming of the media from its recent has been removed. Next, Oxygenos team has tried to improve the network stability for this update and it actually seems working for me. My 4G and 5G connection coverage has been improved and its stability is also improved a lot. Similarly, team has tried to stabilize the Wi-Fi connections. Some users previously noticed the automatic disconnections of the connected Wi-Fi networks which has been fixed now. Next team has fixed the long swipe up gesture to access the multi-window feature of the applications. In the previous build it was not working flawlessly but now it's working good and we can able to access the multi-window of application by just long swiping up gesture of the application. Next OnePlus claimed that they tried to improve the battery for this new update. I just installed the update so I can't confirm the battery improvement but after 2-3 to three days of battery cycle I will release its details but the previous build still didn't have the good battery reserves I am using it from the last one month. For first few days it shown the good reserves but later it has very bad battery reserves hope it's got improved now. Next, OnePlus has improved the stability of the camera application. Actually, I also felt the autofocus issues in the camera for the last build, but now it's autofocusing the subjects correctly without issues. Next, regarding the performance and the stability, ROM now feeling more but is smooth and stable as compared to the previous build. Previous build has the laggy scrolling and the choppy animations sometimes, which seems solved in this update. Opening speed of the heavy applications like BGMI Gaming has also improved a lot. They are opening faster as compared to the previous build. 
I ran the Geekbench test without the performance mode to check the numerical improvement and I got the score of 1125 and 3267 which is lower than the average Geekbench startup based results itself and lower than the previous build too. But the results for the OpenGL graphics API are better than the Geekbench average database while local graphics scores are way lower than the Geekbench average database. Still, you will not feel any kind of lag anywhere. Actually, the current build is more smoother than the previous one. So this is all about the new update of Oxonus 14 which has nothing new special feature additions. But it's all about the stability improvement and the bug fixes. So definitely I recommend it to install it on your OnePlus 9RD. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.